All right. I don't know if that's a good break or bad. I feel a lot more. Can we roll all the clips we have of him backstopping? <laughs> How many times does he get this up and down out of 10? I'm gonna go with a one. Flashing that plastic smile, living out in California. Drove a couple thousand miles, but you never left a good and bad note. Oh my goodness. Great shot. Very tight, tight, tight piece of property. We're making it work. Am I nervous about Icarito driving in an RV? Yeah. I, can I admit? Yeah, I am. Well, that's a pretty good start right there. No laying up was here. Much darker. Yeah, our cameras actually make it look pretty dark. All right, last round of the trip. Harding Park. TPC Harding Park. TC versus Solly. Big Sur. I'm looking to shoot around today. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Rick. Hello. Come on, now get those cameras out of here. What uh, what ball are you gonna be playing today? Thank you for asking. I'm gonna be gaming uh, Callaway Super Soft. You want another cherry on top, though? Yeah. A little bit of fun for you guys. Sure. I'm going to be using the ball mark. It says Rick. All right, boys. Hey, is that you, you guys Stinky? God, I think it's me. Championship day. Yeah, we are it's not. It's championship it. Tuesday. We are not. Neither are you. Neither, are, no, neither am I. We're going off the hey, back Hey, listen, line. listen, listen. Hey, hey, this is a, this is a quiet set. I gotta get some balls, guys. Crap. Move along. Move along. <laughs> TC is running through this bracket like shit through a goose right now. Listen, man. You guys shooting? Listen. Oh. Yeah, what's up? Unbelievable. God, these guys have no respect uh, for the Strat Boys. I'd like to say the Strat Boys were trying, like, we were doing everything we could to hold the wall, and then DJ was like, yeah, come on yeah. through. Yeah, <laughs> there we saying. go. You're like a turnstile. You were the scientist that caused the outbreak, Yeah, yeah basically. You, well, you could have contained it. TC's the contagion. And then I'm, like, the first person who dies in, like, the hyper-local community, and then DJ's, like, the pandemic, and now it's, like, it's a problem. So Sally's the CDC? Solly's like Rick from Walking Dead. He's the only, he's gonna have to take matters into his own hands. Rather, so you've played this course. Who does this course favor, in your opinion? I think it favors Solly, just because if you can hit, if he's, but he's not hitting the driver that well. He hit it well yesterday. Did he? Well, yeah. see, it's a bomb and gouge joint. It's a long beauty. What about you? Who do you think's gonna win? God, guys, it might be a coin flip, honestly. My my head says Solly. Much like our propane situation, I think TC's nearing him. <laughs> um, he didn't jump out of bed today like he has the last no, few days. No, he didn't. True. And I'm going to say Solly one up. I, I'm going to go TC one up. TC one up? Gosh. Is that a hard pick? Yeah, probably. I got to ride for my bro. Tron, listen, you're my hitter, but my official prediction with my head says Solly four and two. Harding Park opened me up to the world, okay. is what I would say. Um, I, I got to meet people from everywhere because this golf course was open to everyone. Well, it's a parking style golf course. The trees are just beautiful. I mean, they're the first thing that captures your attention. So all the trees here were planted. This used to be a agricultural field, lettuce farm, about a hundred years old. And they're, they're definitely our signature feature here on the property. And they're towards the end of their life? They are, their lifespan's about 100, 120 years. So they're basically hundred years old right now. Um, so they are definitely starting to check out, unfortunately. It's a really nice, honest golf course, straight in front of you. Um, premium on good shots, but there's nothing tricked up. You just got to hit it where you see. Best of luck to you today. You as well. How's the family? How's I don't know. How's Freddie? Uh, <laughs> no clue how the family is. All right, we've come up with stakes. The stakes are, the loser gives the winner a juicy three minute 
foot massage in the RV. In the area of the RV, winner's choice. So it could be in the bed, it could be at the bench, you know, anywhere you want. The winner, winner picks. The best man win. You guys are so productive. Guys, a bit of a wrinkle. We're starting on 10. It's I know you guys had done, you had done your prep for one. Yeah. Um, I was ready to be like three down through four, giving away two strokes, but now he gets it like, he gets it on our ninth, our 11th, and 13th. He gets three out of five holes right in the middle stretch. So after 13, he's home free. Stunts. He's home free. I prefer. He needs to make hay early. On my stick. Ladies and gentlemen, mostly just this one gentleman here. Uh, welcome to the championship match. Uh, thank you so much for being here. On all, you know, on behalf of all of us who put this tournament on, uh, it really, it means the world. First on the tee from Neptune Beach, Florida, the number one seed, Chris Solly Solomon. Hold your applause until all players have hit, please. Great ball. Good. An unusually small crowd out here for a moment like this. I think he's gonna get away with that. All right, gentlemen, play well. Five. High five. High five. High five. Oh man. All square. Whoa. Quick update, ball is not flying. TC should be safely aboard. And it is. Great shot. Great shot. These are some Polaroids from 1998 during the week of the US Open when Harding was actually used as a parking lot for all the people attending. So I don't know if you can pick those up, but obviously you can see all the cars. These are fairways. That was undoubtedly the lowest point in history here at the, at the property. But the good news is that spurred the renovation. That's what really was the catalyst for launching to what it is today. But since held five tour events and I'm going to be holding the PGA Championship next year in the President's Cup in 2025. So um, it's kind of reasserted reasserted the uh, property into the world stage, if you will. It deserved this upgrade. Harding Park deserved this upgrade. I mean, it's a great golf course. Whether it has the full infrastructure to do what it wants to do, that's one thing. But the bones of this golf course are great. different about San Francisco golf than, than anywhere else in the world? It's two minutes to get to Harding, three minutes to get to Olympic Club, uh, 10 minutes to get to Lincoln, seven minutes to get to Golden Gate, uh, about less than 15 to get to Sharp Park down in Pacifica. That's just a public golf, you know, and there's some nearby clubs, Olympic, you got San Francisco Golf Club, you got California Golf Club. So within about right where we're sitting now, you can get to like six or seven marvelous golf courses under a half an hour. Darn good. Shot. We here like comes. Cut by about 50 off the tee, and here I am. Sphincter tightening up already. Looks pretty good if it's the right number. Which it seems to be. Pelts. Bowman Pelt. Look at it curve. Yeah, that is not where his ball ended up.
favorite hole at Harding Park. Might be the one we're standing on right here, number 16. Okay. Um, it's a crafty hole. You can, if you're a long hitter, you can try to go for it. Um, and there's uh, trouble, so you got to be accurate. All right. I may have heard some gunshots in his. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Off the rake. Dude, that's a good break. Oh, good that break. is the rub of the green. coming out to Harding Park? 1965. I'll tell you, coming out to Harding back then for me, as a kid, I could not even play golf and have a ball out here. It was a show out here. Every day was a show. Any Johnny Miller stories? Not one I'm gonna tell here. Okay. <laughs> okay. John, 18 at Harding Park. Many people know this hole for the playoff between Tiger and John Daly. The first playoff hole, the back fence back there. Both the rip driver right over the second tree, which is no longer there. Just had nothing but sand wedges in. Uh, came back and played 16. 16th hole right over here is where John Daly missed a little two footer. Tiger shrugged his shoulders, walked over, shook his hands. Depressing. Tiger did not want to win that way. Well, how was the crowd? Were they pulling for Tiger? All pulling for John Daly. That All week. pulling for John Daly. Like yeah. an every man golf course, man. That's why we want to see the every man win. That's really classy. Five for four. Come on. You did it again. I honestly feel like my competitive juices haven't flown this hard like since high school probably. <laughs> like, I do not want to rub his feet. <laughs> like I really don't want to. But that is enough motivation. That's all the motivation I need. All right, Tron after the must win there at number two. What's the number? Oh, really nice. Oh, that's good. From the early, early days of the property, we've always held uh, competitive golf events here on the major stage. So you've got PGA Tour events, USGA events, amateur events, the city championship. It's the, one of the longest played amateur events in the country. Uh, this year will be the 103rd year, I believe, of the city championship. The city championship every year was a big deal. Tom Watson played in it in the early 70s. Two times he didn't win it. He got beat each time. I've played in the uh, city golf tournament, I think it's 43 times. What's the farthest you ever got? I mean, it's what my friends call the dime finals, where you, you, you get down to the 16, round of 16. You're before the quarters. So you're a dime. <laughs> so I made it to the dime finals a couple of times, but that's it. You play Harding, great. You play Lincoln, par 68 in the mud. Can you handle it? Some guys can and some guys can't. They just, they lose it. They make a bogey from 20 yards out and then their, their, their screws come loose. And they can't do it. <laughs> Holly will be forced to lay up here at the par five. Oh, you, f you moron. Don't think he likes it. Just a little stock wedge for him from about 100 yards. Five. 
five. Number five. So when we were kids, the golf course had just been redesigned, and the fifth hole had little tiny stake trees down the right side. So we just stand up here, and you could just blast it down the right side. But those days are over. A little yeah. different now, huh? Yeah, yep. those things have grown up. All right, Mr. Carter for, Mr. Solomon for. Solomon in advance, one Survive, survive in advance. That ball was murdered. Holy shit. <laughs> this season's brought to you by Callaway Golf. <laughs> that was murderfied. He's not messing with the driver. No. I'll be good. All over it. Hold on. Come on, baby. Ready for Sally to go two up with three to play. That is the biggest putt of the week there, folks. All right, he did all he can do. Conceded birdie here, here at the seventh. Battle. This could be a backbreaker if he puts his close. Short. That's short, dog. He goes one down. This is good golf, actually. For like the first time this trip, I think. 180 yards. Downwind, off the right, atypical wind. TC's got about a six and a half iron, if I'm guessing. Yeah, I got six. He's got six. Gotta shut the club down a little bit. Great strike, right at the flag. Oh. This guy is relentless. He won't go away! I don't know how it didn't go in. That thing never that left the flag. Good. Great shot. This is out to the right at the middle of the green. Down. Is that going to stay? Down. That is going to just roll maybe into the back fringe. Almost some backstopping. Not bad. Some <laughs> potential backstopping. Look at the sportsmanship. Tron's gonna do it, he's gonna have to do it in extra holes. God, I legitimately have adrenaline going. <laughs> so the ninth at Hardy Park, site of two of my favorite golf memories. Par five, got a little bit of history here, walking up to the second shot. So about where Phil is right here is where Tiger was in the President's Cup in 2009 and he hit a dart in there. Club twirl, twirl, walked off to the green. The mega Tiger Club twirl and, can you name the other one? No. That twirl? The fight between Keegan Bradley's caddy and Miguel and now him and Should we reenact it? Oh, 180 into the par five, this thing usually plays ripping into the wind. It is howling downwind now. Strongest wind we've seen. You see Solly's ball up ahead. Tron has to win this hole to extend the match.
He has skanked it. Just short of the bunker. Better than that, approaching his ball here at the last par five finisher. Not much of a par five today from the white tees. Wind whipping down. It's been a long week. Tough conditions. One swing here to the center of the green and I think this thing is pretty much over. Last swing of the trip is away and it is right at the flag. Folks, that might be the tournament there. TC has gotta be wondering how Solly's feet are smelling right now. Not a bad effort, but not gonna be enough. Ricky Fowler's on the 18th green, waiting to congratulate him. Is it his time? Oh. Still yes, Is gonna but it's going to be a birdie. You got to mark dude. Yeah, you got to mark that. Miss it, Danny, miss it. There it is, folks. Champion. Fourth off season three. Enjoy, brother. Great match. God <laughs> damn it. I had to golf my ball. Oh. Jesus. Well done, guys. Hey, thanks, God. Ricky. God, thanks, it's good Ricky. to be in here. God, thanks. So you. happy for you. Uh, Solly comes out on top. Any surprise there? No, it's not. I mean, that was like the biggest no brainer ever. Not at all. Not even a little bit. You got to shoot 69. I mean, come on. 69. Yeah. Final round. Hey, nice first of all, nice. I mean, that's a different gear that we saw from you today. Yeah, you know, I had the driver working really, really well today. Uh, I just reared back and fired at it and felt total confidence that the high right miss was not going to happen today. I'm really proud of uh, older bro TC for just battling. It's like high school all over again. I remember watching him in high school golf tournaments. The guy's a grinder. He's a match play guy. He's Poulter. Uh, he, he lurks. He lingers. Linger. You know, kind of scuffled for a bit and finally got my shit together there on... Uh on the par four and then number eight was uh, honestly I thought I hold that I thought it was bullshit that it, that it didn't go in all credit to Solly um, you know I shot 76 today and you know he beat me by seven today so he, he deserves to win uh, what do we think of the golf course I loved it that was a treat. it was a lot there's a lot more a uh, lot more going on there than you see on TV uh, how are your feet feeling feeling a little smelly uh, probably could use a bit of a rub down is it three minutes per foot or three minutes overall? No, three minutes overall. Okay. Listen, that was a big motivating factor to win this. Uh, and especially happy that each one of you gets to caddy for me for 18 holes. That's going to be really fun. Ricky on his phone, of course. Juicy. He's posting this. <laughs> Ricky's posting to social media. Let's just say Neil only had to have that just tattoo got for another, 24 hours. Just got another sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> like that. When times get tough and the world gone cold, feels like we're All right, we got an eight man team skins game going on. Come on, be right. Shot. What percent chances does this have to go in? I got the hardy slicer out. What percent chances does this have to go in? I'd say it's a 12%. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Move it. Shit. Not bad. We're dancing. We're at the end of the journey, Neil. We sure are. Just sum up the last nine days for me. Give me a quick quick synopsis, oh, quick man. analysis. You know, I think it's the type of trip that brings us closer together as a, as a group. Honestly, a bucket list thing for me has always been long distance RV trip. Um, so, sounds cheesy, but to do it with such close friends uh, was awesome. It was great. This is like the best trip that I would never want to do again. It was a lot of fun, but again, I've been cold for eight straight days, like e eternally cold. We ran out of propane in here last night. Uh, I packed three pairs of shorts. Yeah. Which was just a huge, huge error on my part. It was fun, it was, it's one of those trips that I'm really happy to have done. And also like, I can't wait to get back to civilization a little bit. Yeah, I don't know, I'll miss the RV. It was fun, it was a cool way to do it. I started the first night, I was like, God, this is uncomfortable. And I can hear, I can feel every time Randy moves in that back bedroom. I can hear Tron snoring. I can see Solly's on his phone over there. And then by last night, they're like, yeah, okay, you're, you know, you're a higher seed. 
So you can go sleep in the hotel if you want. I'm like, ah, I'm good. It was fun driving it. I enjoyed driving it. Um, it's really nice to just be able to take your bed anywhere you go with you. I, the RV is high maintenance, period, point blank. These things are like um, high fine tuned machines and they can, they can go wrong. But yeah, I don't think I'd want to own one. That's when I feel your sun Go. Down on me. Scummy John with a false start. Threw his partner off. <laughs> false start. I feel your sun. So I wanna be. Hard to tell who's is who. Soaking up your we set out to make this season very different than the first two seasons, and without a doubt, it has been. There's much less about like the history of the game and more about celebrating some cool places, but more so just like capturing the vibe of what it's like to take an RV up the West Coast of California. The biggest surprise of the trip from a golfing perspective was Ojai Valley. Didn't know a thing about it. It was fun and quirky and funky. It, it had a class to it uh, while still being a bit funky. You have to go play one of the courses that we already played today. Pasa Tiempo. Yeah. It might be, I, I, I foolishly made a list of my top 10 favorite courses in the world uh, a few months ago and I, I'm realizing I left Pasa off and I, something's gotta get bumped. I'm sure there's a way to describe it in like formal architecture terms, but I think Pasa Tiempo is my favorite course. Just period, full stop? Just, yeah. Biggest surprise for me was, uh, <laughs> Sorry, Neil's making faces at me. The best part, I think, has been when we pour a little bourbon at night, when we're parked, we're leveled, we're stationed, we got some ice, everything's cold, so the bourbon's really cold. Grab a grab a couple drinks outside or at night, looking at footage or just kind of looking up at the stars or... One word to sum up the trip, what would it be? Um, oh, God. So that's juicy. Well, that was an easy one. Frantic. To steal a word from our friends Metallica. It's a voyage, you know? I mean, we, I thought we we navigated a ton of different landscapes. Microclimate's out the ass, you know? I don't, I don't need to tell you that. Progress. You know, it's my first couple weeks full-time with NLU. Progressing towards, um, you know, feeling comfortable out on my own with you clowns. It was a journey, a journey. There was a bit of a journey that I've embarked upon with my own golf game that started on the very first night with uh, George Gankus at the driving range. Obviously, we've had our, our journey on the road up the coast. And, you know, I think this whole week, this whole experience is another stop on, on our, our collective no laying up journey. So, I think there's some layers there. Yeah. Hey, anyway, TC, you're a hell of a player. That means a lot coming from Hey, you already are a father. Exactly. You need to go see him. Gents, gents, gents. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. Hey, cheers. Hey, hey, enjoy it, brother. That was a blast. <laughs>